Damn, cold showers look painful. But would you believe if someone told you taking a cold shower every single day can get you to lose a few extra pounds off the scale every single week? Neither would I, but let's take a look at the research and see if there's any truth to this matter. There, there's a lot of hype out there about cold showers, let's be real here. So in today's video, I want to help you discover the true benefits of taking cold showers while simultaneously dispelling all those myths. Let's start with weight loss. Is there any true relationship between cold showers and losing weight? There have been claims that you could burn an extra 500 calories a day just by taking a cold shower. And I don't know if you guys know this, but 500 calories is more than some people burn during an entire intense cardio session. On top of that, people have published books, audibles, and articles all about this topic, swearing that it's a true fat loss hack. The theory typically goes like this. When you're born, you're born with adipose tissue. And this is what we generally all refer to as body fat. But there's another type of fat known as brown fat, otherwise known as bat or brown adipose tissue. The main function of these brown fat cells is to generate heat. That's why these are overly abundant in babies. These cells are typically inactive, but if you find yourself in a very cold environment that's below room temperature, then these bat cells are supposed to activate in order to generate heat for your body. So ultimately, these brown fat cells will be burning regular fat once activated in a cooler environment. Awesome. There's proof right there, right? Well, let me tell you about my research. I scoured the internet looking for a study where they compared two groups of people with a control group and an experimental group, right? That's what goes into a study. And to my surprise, I didn't really find that much. Finally, when I did find a couple articles that claimed that there was scientific proof, the proof was not that strong. First of all, all these experiments were set up to determine if subjects in cold exposed conditions would experience an increase in energy expenditure and if they would activate more brown fat cells. That's it. The problem is that there's a big difference if your energy expenditure increases 25 calories versus 400 or 500 calories like many proponents of cold showers want you to believe. The truth is that the results from the study show that the difference in energy expenditure is there, but it's not really all that significant except in certain cases. So what I mean by that is that in one of the studies, one of the subjects increased the amount of calories burnt per day by 400 calories. That's something that I'm sure we would all love to have, but in the same study, the average increase across all the subjects was only around 70 calories. So that's obviously a pretty small effect. 70 calories isn't gonna have you tightening up your belt every week, right? So it's clearly a very small effect, and on top of that, one person, if one person could burn 400 calories and the other one would only burn 70, then there's obviously a huge variation from person to person, meaning you might burn even less than 70 calories, you might burn 10 because of the amount of brown fat cells you may have and the way that they react to cold environments. On top of that, these experiments aren't exactly applicable to a regular person taking a 30 second cold shower. Many of these studies were super particular about how they would keep their subjects whole body cold for hours. One study even used a liquid conditioned tube suit which would have cold water poured into it. I don't know about you, but I don't really have a liquid conditioned tube suit. I also don't have a method to ensure that my whole body stays at a certain temperature the whole day or for a certain amount of hours. So some people are taking this to the extreme by swimming in freezing cold water to burn more fat from their workouts. I'd rather not swim in freezing cold water for the possible opportunity of burning 70 extra calories. I feel like a lot of people that are overweight might be looking for a shortcut or a quick fix and those are the people trying cold showers or putting an ice pack behind their neck with minimal results and there's a reason for that. One study titled Cold Activated Brown Adipose Tissue in Healthy Men found that there's a high percentage of young men with brown adipose tissue. So that's obviously good news. They have the right fat cells to help them burn fat during cold conditions. However, the degree to which these bat cells activate is reduced in men who are overweight or obese. So the more fat you have on your body, the less active your brown fat cells are. There's even a chart that they used to document the results of this study that literally perfectly demonstrated that your bat activity will go down as your body fat percentage goes up. Damn, that's really bad news. So the people that need an increase in their metabolic rate the most have the least responsive brown fat cells. Great. And there's still one more kicker. 
There was one study done where they actually identified some concrete numbers for us. What they identified was that two hours of daily cold exposure could lead to only one and a half pounds lost over a six week period. And guys, again, this was people under observation in an experiment in which they kept cold for two hours a day. With a 30 second shower or a minute long shower, you're not even gonna have close to that kind of effect. So it seems like cold showers aren't really a great weight loss or fat loss hack. That's just the truth. And of course we would all love to get in the shower and burn an extra 400 calories a day, but science doesn't really support this or at least not to any degree of which it can be able to be turned from a theory into a fact. There are many benefits to taking cold showers and I actually will take a cold shower a couple times a week after heating my body up in a sauna, mostly for the relaxing effect. Some benefits you could expect from cold showers are improvements in your circulation, an increase in endorphins, which ultimately can help you feel happier, it can strengthen your immune system, and it can sure as hell wake you up and increase your energy to get out the door and kick butt for the day. But it's honestly not that great of a fat loss tool. Either is laying in an ice bath. I see some people on YouTube doing that, and unfortunately, the tiny amount of calories that you're gonna ultimately burn is not worth your time, and it's not worth the torture. You're gonna be way better off with the amount of calories that you could burn with a high intensity interval training workout for just like 15 minutes rather than laying in an ice bath or taking a cold shower, at least as far as calories are concerned. Again, I think cold showers are great, but don't take cold showers thinking that you're gonna burn a whole bunch of extra fat. That's it, I really hope this video has helped you guys out. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also make sure that you visit my website, gravitytransformation.com, where you can get done for you workout and meal plans that are proven to work. Talk to you guys soon. Pump it.